This is a 1999 Toyota 4Runner with the uh, 3.4 V6 in it. About a year ago it started a light ticking noise and I thought it was an alternator and that ticking noise is becoming a rattle rattle noise and sometimes it's even a, a deeper almost a knock knock noise and um, so I've done a little investigation and a little bit of listening and so I wanted to show you what the uh, problem really is. So we're going to start it up and and let you listen to it. The noise seems to be coming from the rear of the engine, which says to me that it's not any of the accessories on the front, such as the alternator or the air conditioning compressor, power steering pump, or fan. And now from underneath, the noise seemed to be quite a bit louder, and it seemed to be coming from the rear of the engine. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna set the park brake and I'm gonna put it in gear. Set the park brake really good. And an interesting thing happens. The sound almost goes away. If you listen to it from up top with it in gear, park brake set, the sound is almost out of way. We'll go over this other side. It's not very rhythmic with it in gear. Now we've brought it into the shop, put it up on the lift, removed the belly pans and the inspection cover on the flywheel, and this is what we see. If you look really close to this flex plate, or what's called a, some people call a flywheel, you can see a, a crack that begins at that hole. And so it's definitely got a cracked flex plate. Well, we have the flex plate out of our 1999 Toyota 4Runner with the 3.4 liter V6. You can see that it's cracked all the way from this hole to this hole, and then it's cracked all the way to this hole and this one, and part way around the other side. So it's pretty well done and thankfully didn't break all the way through it's only about halfway but it sure made a lot of noise